spirits and specters let out a wail and then settle in for magic in the mail. Hello, Potato! We do indeed have magic in the mail today, and as you might be able to surmise from that opening, we've even got some Haunted Mansion items, and more than one! Yay! It is the beginning of the Halloween season, because it's almost September, and the new Haunted Mansion merchandise is being released, and I've managed to get a hold of some of it. Or rather, my wife and I have managed to get a hold of some of it, because some of it is hers. Um, everything this week did come in the mail, and almost all of it is actually Disney. So, let's get started with something that my wife picked out. Let's go into our box of magic here. And... Yeah, my wife ordered this little bowl set. They came all stacked together. They had little cardboard inserts and a little bow that was supposed to be wrapped around them, but had come off in shipping. But it's a nice little stacking bowl set. As you can see, we've got Mickey's on the outside, Mickey's on the inside. This one just has Mickey's on the inside. Outside just got kind of a neat little studded look. And then on this one, I actually, I kind of like this one the best. I like the way the pattern comes together in the center of this one. Just it looks neat to me. More so, maybe because it's smaller, or maybe because it's more well-defined, the pieces there are than in this one. But I think I like this one the best. It's also got some little, I mean, you can call them hidden Mickeys if you want. I wouldn't call them hidden, though. But there are a bunch of those big ones and those little ones at the center of each shape on the outside of the bowl. And I don't know how much these cost, and I don't know if they're still available. They were from Shop Disney. I believe these were my wife had purchased for to attempt to qualify for the ink and paint key. Yeah, they're very nice. They're also slightly breakable. But luckily they got here okay because they were shipped in a box. Thankfully they were shipped in their own box, which had some bubble wrap around it. Uh, but again, they, they jostled so much in shipping that the ribbon that was supposed to be wrapped around them, they were all stacked in each other originally. And there was meant to be a bow around them, and that had come off. But luckily the cardboard separating the individual bowls did keep them all nice and safe. So that's a nice thing. Oh yeah, because they came in a box with, uh, with I think maybe, I think just a sheet of the magic paper and one other item just kind of rattling around loose in that typical Shop Disney fashion. Uh, thankfully, everything survived. Let's put them aside and move on to our next item. Which is this envelope from Mankato, Minnesota, which is weird because I would kind of expect a Disney thing to come from either California or Florida, but there we go. And yeah, it appears to just be a greeting card, and I like it because of course it has Tiki Room and of course the Haunted Mansion, which is the most important, and the Jungle Cruise on it, and you know, the front side of the back side of water. But yeah, the, this isn't just a greeting card. So a couple weeks ago now, I think, at least as of the time of this recording, Disney released a bunch of new gift cards on their website, which is stuff that they hadn't really had before. And I liked this one because it had that same design on the gift card. Yep, it's a cute little gift card. You can use it at, you know, Shop Disney, I guess. Disneyland. All the places. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, the minimum amount you can put on them is 25, I think the maximum is 500. And of course it'll be a nice piece to go in my collection, but it does of course mean I'm going to need to remove it from the card in order to use it. What else is in our box of magic? Got... Masks! The new masks! These are the extra large ones. So my wife got a set of the princess masks and I got a set of the Marvel ones. Yes, I know I said I didn't like the Hulk mask, but they don't really have a whole lot of options on there that appeal to me specifically. I didn't really care for the Pixar ones. Um, I didn't really care for 
the Mickey Minions. They have some of them that are like more Mickey Mouse now, and I think my wife ordered some of those, so those may be in a future video. But let's take a look at them and see how they can what they look like and how they compare to the other one. Well, actually, you know, let's just see how they compare in size to start with. And we'll we'll bring out Mr. Skullhead and we will check and see how they look all puffed out. So yep, here is the extra large. For comparison, this is one of the ones I've been using. It's the large of um, the child. Yep. And while it does fit, it's a little snug around the ears in particular, especially if you're wearing it for long stretches of time. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the extra larges are quite a bit bigger, and I expect more comfortable than the larges. The larges work, which is more than I can say, like for the ones I bought from Tee Public, which are just utterly useless to me. But yeah, the larges are wearable, so I'm guessing the extra larges will be even extra wearable. But yeah. Let's put them on the skull so we can see them all, see what they look like when you're wearing them. So just as a reminder, this is what the large size masks look like when put on. Uh, Mr. Scully here has offered to help me again, which is to say he had no choice in the matter because he's an inanimate object. Um, but yep, he's, his head's about the same size as my own. So it's a fairly good comparison. Uh, that is my child mask. It is one that I do wear and use regularly. Um, it's been washed a few times, so it has maybe shrunk a little bit, which is why it won't stay up anymore. Of course, also the fact that Scully here doesn't have a nose is part of the problem. But just, you know, to remind you, this is what a large size looks like on, on Scully. And now let's see what these new ones look like, plus get a good look at the designs. Here is the Little Mermaid mask. They are made about the same way as the large ones and the original ones. Multiple layers of fabric reasonably thick and strong ear straps but with the Little Mermaid swimming around. And you can see, you know, compared to the previous shot, how much bigger that is. That is so much easier to put on a Scully, it's not even funny. Uh, it's actually pretty loose. I could probably put it on a, on a tighter setting on the little ear protector thing here and still get away with it, as we're with the large ones, absolutely had to be the loosest setting. Yep, there is the Little Mermaid. Next is Frozen, because by law, Disney has to make Frozen out of everything now, into everything nowadays. I'm actually a little surprised they didn't just do a four-pack of Frozen ones, because they could like, work Olaf in there and stuff, too, because he is suspiciously absent from this. We have the other, we have the two female protagonists and the token guy, but I'm not seeing Olaf anywhere. That seems weird to me, that they don't include Olaf. I know the theme of these is supposed to be Princess. Is that, is that the male character? He, he looks a little feminine here. Maybe it's just the way they've drawn him. I mean, the outfit looks like him. Was it Kristoff? It's Kristoff, right? Um, but just the face looks like they maybe kind of accidentally put Elsa's face on him or Anna's face on him instead. Or is that, is that Anna, like a younger Anna? I don't know. But I guess it doesn't matter to me because these aren't my masks and I'm not wearing these ones. This one's more just kind of general Disney princess. We have stuff references to lots of them on here. We've got Cinderella's Coach, Belle's Rose, or I guess technically it's Beast's Rose, Tiana's Frog, got Moana's Boat, Merida's... Well, there's Merida's Arrow, but Flowers? Well, I don't remember Flowers. I haven't seen that movie in a while. Mulan's Fan... Yep, references to a lot of them. Be strong, destined for greatness, live your dreams, be kind. Got Pocahontas appears to have a glass slipper. That's not right. That must maybe she's supposed to be the flower there. Snow White. I guess it's not really a particular thing associated with her, is there? Yep, got Rapunzel. Lots of princesses referenced on this one. It's a nice, kind of just basic white and pink. It'll go with lots of things that you choose to wear if you wear lots of pink and purple and colors that complement pink and purple. And our last one again is just more general princessiness. We've got lots of princesses. Merida, Snow White, 
Jasmine, Cinderella, Mulan, Belle, Ariel, Pocahontas down there. Come on, she's on there somewhere. It's Tiana. Tiana's got to be on here. Am I just missing her? Oh, there she is. Yep, next to next to Aurora. Yep, all the princesses, all the all the ones that are like proper princesses. You know, I've got Moana's on there. It's like no Alice. Alice isn't isn't really a princess. I, I know that people have tried to make her one, but she's really not. She's really not. Yep. And that concludes the princess selection. Uh, that's, I think they were, I think, 20 bucks for the four of them, plus shipping, of course. And these actually came pretty quickly. I want to say, as were the first set of masks, the largest, the Star Wars and the Mickey and Minnie ones, those took like three, two, three months to get here. These showed up in about three weeks, four weeks. A pretty quick turnaround on these. So I think I think Disney's caught up. They listened and made extra large size because I have put one of these on, not one of these ones, but one of the extra, one of the extra larges, and they fit quite nicely. I mean, as you could just see looking at him, how much easier that fits on Scully than than the child did. But yeah, that finishes the princesses. Now on to my masks, Marvel. Now we're on to my masks, the Marvel selection. Um, honestly, again, I don't, I don't like these in general as much as the Star Wars ones, which is why I didn't buy them to begin with. But again, they really haven't done anything else to, uh, to kind of cater more. I'm gonna go with the gender lines here. Cater more towards guys. Most guys just aren't gonna want to wear Disney princesses or Minnie Mouse. You know, maybe I'm just not secure enough in my masculinity. I don't know. But, so, we have our first one just says the Marvel logo over and over. Now, which way is right set up? Which way is upside down? Don't know. I guess it depends whether you want to emphasize the red and the white or the white and the red. But it doesn't really matter. There's the Marvel mask. Next is the Black Panther mask, which has T'Challa's mask all over it. And it's got a nice, nice kind of dark blue-black color scheme that I really like. I'm not sure... If some of this up here, maybe some color streaking, or if that's intentional. I mean, it looks like on the mask it's intentional, so I'm going to guess up here it probably is as well. Maybe if my eyes were better, that would make a more obvious individual shape. But yeah, that's a nice one, too. Next up is our Avengers mask. We've got lots of people on this one. We've got... That Hulk's a little creepy, actually. It's like, it's like Five Nights at Freddy's Hulk. They did, they did a Marvel crossover like they are with... Uh, Fortnite. Do five nights at Captain America's. And that's the Hulk. But we have Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, Vision, everybody's little logos, Marvel's logo, and Captain America. We got, oh, he's kind of cut off on both ends here. But uh, Black Panther's on here as well. I guess he gets his own mask. He doesn't need to be so prominently featured on this one. Yep, that's a nice one. I think this one and the Marvel one are the two I'd probably end up wearing the most. Although I, I do like that, I do like the uh, Black Panther one. Now onto the one that's the real reason I didn't buy this set to begin with. Yep, here it is. The reason I skipped this assortment the first time around. This mask. Hulk's face. Now, it's not that I object to the idea of the changing the bottom half of your face to another character. I've seen some other masks that do that quite well. I just don't get why you pick, you know, the Hulk, as opposed to a character that, you know, you still make movies about. But that's what they did. You know who would have been a good one to make? Winter Soldier. He wears a mask that covers the bottom half of his face. That would have been perfect. But even like Iron Man or somebody else, I think would have been a better choice than uh, the Hulk. But it's not a bad mask. I will probably wear it at times. I just, I'm not a huge Hulk fan. I like the design of the Hulk. I do have a few Hulk figures, but that's because I just like the design, not so much the character. But still, I mean, it's, it's not a bad mask. It just, I just wish they had picked virtually any other character. What should we do next? Let's, uh, here we go. Let's grab this. This is our one non-Disney item. Yes, it is another, another dirty room keychain. And it's a new low number for us. Nine. Our previous lowest number was 11. Now we have nine. And as all the others, it is signed by Mr. Dan Bell himself. I can flip it around and show it to you, if you care. And I believe this one was called Seaside Blue. 
Um, and I really am running out of room for these now. I'm going to have to probably put in another set of hooks or something just because because I really am out of space to hang these on the two hooks I have. But I will figure that out. But yeah, as usual, it's the nice little flexi plastic. It's signed. It's got the Another Dirty Room logo on it. It's a lovely thing and a reminder of a lovely show, which unfortunately for the time being has ended due to, you know, not really being able to go to hotels and such. Uh, I think... Nope, there's one more thing here that's not Haunted Mansion, and that's this. This is the ink and paint key. Yep, I managed to get one by being on there like at one in the morning and ordering stuff that I had on my wish list so I could do it quickly. Yep, here's our ink and paint key, and I'll see if we can just maybe get a closer look at this. All right, here is a closer look at our ink and paint key. Uh, as you can see, it came through in pretty good shape. The card's a little bent up, but it's not torn. It's not really damaged. It came through okay, and the key is thankfully not bent. And yeah, I remember I asked back, the last key I got was a um, Star Wars key. It's been that long since I got a key. And I asked if uh, they all said Glendale on the bottom. And apparently they do, because this one does as well. What do we have designed on here? We have different characters. We've got Captain Hook. We've got... That's the evil... I don't think it's the evil queen, because that's the evil queen there, and I think it's a different design there. Looks like that might be either... Is that Tigger or Shere Khan? There's Alice. Who else do we have on here? There's the White Rabbit. Kind of feel like I should have put my glasses on for this. I think it's a princess. I think it's maybe it's Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty. I don't know who that is. All right, so everything we have left is Haunted Mansion related. We've got not one, not two, but three Haunted Mansion items. We'll start out with a little nameplate that says, Welcome, Foolish Mortals. This will go somewhere on a shelf in here, no doubt. These seem to kind of be a thing right now. I've seen them like at some of the discount stores that say kind of a big deal and like I think Boss Babe and stuff like that. And I know Disney has on the Shop Disney site some other other nameplate themed items. I think it's like an Evil Queen one and stuff. But yep, my wife picked this one up for me because it says Welcome Foolish Mortals. And uh, it's a nice little cute thing to go somewhere in here in the void space on a shelf somewhere where it hopefully won't block the view of something. But we'll, I'll figure that out myself later. All right, next. These are ones that I picked out because I like them. Haunted Mansion Bottle Stoppers. Yep, it's everyone's favorite hitchhikers, Phineas, Ezra, and Gus. Now they can preserve your wine. Yep, um, a lot of the stuff that's, a lot of the stuff is park stuff. So it doesn't have prices on it like Disney Store stuff would. So yeah, I don't know off the top of my head how much these cost anymore. But I think these are still available on Shop Disney. I'm pretty sure this is too. Let's take us a closer look at these. Freed from their packaging, here are our hitchhiking ghosts, Phineas, Ezra, and Gus. And I just put them on little bottles so we can see what they look like. Yes, I opened them. What am I going to do with leaving them in a, in a, a pegboard packaging? I don't have pegboard to put them on. They're very solid, heavy things. They are like solid metal. I believe it says they're just chrome-plated. And they will help preserve your wine, at least for a short while, until you can finish drinking it. Um, let's get a close look at each one of them, though. We'll start with Phineas here. He's got his thumb out. He's got his little traveling bag. Because, of course, he was originally called, or at least previously called, the Traveler before he got the name of Phineas. And... Yep. You know, my first impression when I saw these in person is that they weren't super well detailed. But I realize now, looking at them, is that the detail is all there. Like, you know, he's got the bags under his eyes, he's got his grin. I think it's just the fact that they've chosen to plate them completely in chrome makes some of that detail get lost to the eye at first glance. But I mean, he's got, he's got his hair. I just don't know how much of it's going to show up on camera, because in the package a lot of it just didn't even show up for my eyes. 
But I think I think the choice to put it in solid chrome, not solid chrome, but in full chrome coating, is um was not the best. But it's a nice sculpt. And I wouldn't mind having these like as, as figurines either. Next we have Ezra, formerly known as the Skeleton. He's tipping his hat, he's got his thumb out as well, and again, he's got the detail work here. He's got his, his little fringe of hair on the back of his head, he's got his long coat, spindly little legs. I mean, this, this, it's a nice sculpt. I'm sure the sculpt is from something else. I'm sure it wasn't sculpted specifically for these bottle toppers. I'm guessing they were used in the same way like they keep putting out the Doom Buggy ornament and the Madame Leota ornament every year we're just with different paint jobs on them. And I'm sure that's what happened here as well. This is this was sculpted for something else and then turned into this. And honestly, I'm fine with that because this is a nice, nice solid thing. And I think the only other Haunted Mansion bottle stopper I have is the the one that it's the bat that they use for the the chain dividers. I, have, I think I have a bat bottle stopper from Haunted Mansion before. Finally, there's short little Gus, formerly known as the Prisoner. He's got his little ball and chain there. Well, he's got his ball anyway. The chain does appear to have gotten lost because there's like the end. That's like where the chain should be, and it's not there. I guess they couldn't make it work well in a, as a bottle stopper. I mean, I guess they could have put just a loose chain there, but they opted not to. So it kind of looks like he's holding a cartoon bomb. Um, honestly, he he is the one that does seem to have kind of had some weird detail loss due to the chroming, and that's in his hand here. His hand just looks wrong to me. I mean, the, the detail of the individual fingers is there at certain angles. It just, it looks, it looks like maybe he lost a finger or half finger at some point in his life, which who knows, maybe he did. But again, he's nice and skinny as he should be. He's got his little, little robe, dress, coat, prisoner's outfit, I guess, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's maybe supposed to be a prisoner uniform. It just, you know, being a ghost, it doesn't, it's not super obvious. Because he does appear to just be like legitimately wearing a dress as where the other two ghosts are wearing clearly coats. He is, maybe it's just, maybe it's like a sackcloth. Maybe he's wearing like a potato sack because he's just escaped from prison and is trying to hide his prison outfit and then got hit by a car. Or probably a wagon, probably a horse-drawn wagon then, wouldn't it? Or maybe he's eaten by wolves. Wolves would work. All right, we have one more item in the box of magic here. And that is these Haunted Mansion Mini Ears. Um, my wife says that they had a different version last year that didn't have the Haunted Mansion design there in the center. And I don't know if that's true or not. If, if it is, there's probably a picture of them here. And if I couldn't find one, well, then this was just kind of awkward. But they're nice. Um, we kind of had to struggle to get them because I really do suspect at this point that Shop Disney is starting to blacklist people who are critical. Uh, my wife and I have both just started having amazing amounts of trouble completing orders. Well, for example, um, I spent literally an entire day this week trying to order a set of the Tower of Terror ears, which are also quite nice looking, and apparently they've already been up there before, and we just missed them entirely that time. And literally, like, the entire day trying to check out with them, because I had them in the bag, got them in the bag, no problem, but trying to check out, that was the tricky bit. And it did finally, like, at five in the afternoon, it did finally let me check out, only to then, like, about 8.30 at night, cancel the order. Thank you, Shop Disney. Um, and so I, I do kind of start, I'm starting to worry if some of these more limited items, if they're legitimately, like, blocking people. Because I see other people say stuff like that on the Facebook page, too, that that it seems like they're being blocked. So I don't, I don't know how much truth there is to that, but... I mean, it could just be incompetence. Who knows? It could just be incompetence on Shop Disney's part that I can sit there with an item that shows is available to purchase and add to bag for literally, you know, the entire day with it in my bag and not able to check out because suddenly it's magically sold out even though I can take it out of my bag and add it to my bag because it's not sold out. But who knows? Uh, let's take a closer look at these two, I think. Here are our Haunted Mansion Minnie Mouse ears. So yeah, the bit that my wife liked on them is 
this part right here. We're actually just say the Haunted Mansion in the little, little frame design. We've got a big poofy bow on it. We've got, of course, the ubiquitous, famous wallpaper pattern. And on the inside of the band, where you can only see it when you're taking it on and putting it off, which isn't the way the words go, is a ghost will follow you home. It doesn't have like the big, long, obnoxious tag that I think, I think the Minnie Mouse Man attraction ears have. That's nice. It's, um, it, like the last time I looked, which was, I think, back on Thursday, these were available again. So they don't seem like they were limited release or anything. So if you want one, hopefully you can still get one. Um, we're still trying to get the Tower of Terror ears, but they haven't come back up available yet. There's a number of things that I'd like to get that haven't come back up available yet. And then there's the one thing that they're back ordering, which is the Madame Leota Mr. Lamp Light thing, which, uh, we had an order in for, and hopefully they don't cancel it. And I'll be able to show it to you in a future video. But these are nice ears, very plush, little velvety, especially on the, like the faces from the wallpaper. And the, the bow's also pretty velvety. Kind of a satiny feel on the purple parts of the ears. And of course, you know, they're one size fits all because they're a headband. All right. That does it. That's all the magic in the mail. Only thing left in here is packing material and a come on for a credit card that we used to pay for this stuff. I hope you found these items interesting. Um, I hope if you like any of them that they're still available so you can get them yourself on Shop Disney and both available to purchase and they actually let you check out with them. If you did find it interesting, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see when I post more Disney things and more non-Disney things. And I will see you in the next video.